a 7. Now, in an example like this, um, just like when we did addition, we wanted to use the vertical method. When we're using subtraction, we're going to want to do the exact same thing. So when I'm looking at some subtraction, there's actually two different ways you guys can do this, though. All right? The first way, if you're looking at subtracting two equations, you can just write it as subtraction, just like I did the multiplication problem. So the main, oh, shoot. Dang it. Um, I wanted to rewrite these. Yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and what my problem was, I was going to give you a problem that wasn't in descending order, so you guys would have to rewrite it in descending order. I forgot to do that, but that's okay. Um, anyways, so you just rewrite what you know, one on uh, your, your one polynomial over the next. Now, what I would recommend, after I'm done with this, you can, okay? What I would, is that okay? If you need to absolutely go in emergency, that's fine. Um, what I want you guys to understand is when you guys are subtracting, this is very beneficial, is to, you guys see that there's no 3x to the cubed, right? There's no x, or I'm sorry, there's no x cubed. Yes? Yeah. But remember, there's still a place value for that. So, what, huh? So, uh, cortic. <laughs> So what I want you guys to understand is remember, what's, what's zero times anything? Zero. zero. So if I was actually to simplify this, I just want you to understand that those place values are still there. All right? You don't have to put them there, but I think it's much easier, when you're, especially when you're doing problems like this, that see now it makes sense because what am I adding to my 3x cubed? Because there's no, there's no x cubed here, right? So you have nothing to add the 3x cubed to. But if you guys can understand, there is an x cubed. It's just 0 x cubed. Does that make sense? No. No. All, they, all those are doing, all those are doing is representing place values. Because, Amy, what's 0, x, what's zero times x cubed? I don't know. I just don't know where you got Amy, Amy, what is 0 times anything? Zero. So the reason why I'm doing them is because, well, I'll explain it after the video. I'll make a, I'll make a uh, example thing from there. So you could do it. So now if you were to subtract them, basically the tip that I like to use is saying it out loud. All right? 3x, oh, I'm sorry. And actually, is there, anything, is there any x to the fourth that I'm subtracting from? So what you can do is, again, put a place value in there. Again, put, if you have nothing to subtract it from, put in a 0 with that like term. OK? Because now it just makes a little bit sense. 3x to the fourth minus 0x to the fourth. Well, obviously, Marissa, then that answer is just 3x to the fourth. Does that make sense? Because if you didn't have anything there, you wouldn't, you wouldn't really make sense of what are you subtracting 3x to the fourth from. But you guys can see there is an x to the fourth. It's just being multiplied by 0. All right. Now I do 0x cubed minus 3x cubed. That's going to give you negative 3x cubed. You could also do negative 2x squared minus 5x squared. That gives you a negative 7x squared. 0x minus a negative 2x. Remember, minus a negative will give you a positive 2x. And then 5 minus a negative 7 will give you a positive 12. Yes. Five minus a negative seven. Five minus minus a negative seven. Okay, I'm.